Welcome! We are setting up two sides of our freedom stand today. So we're going to do one side at a time here. We picked a nice grassy spot by a crick. This is what one side of your freedom stand looks like unassembled. You've got two poles, a freedom hub, and we included extra discs to slide on the feet. So the first thing you're going to do is extend your poles all the way. Then you take your Freedom Hub and you're going to pop it on top of each one of the poles. Now it's going to be kind of loose in there. It's not going to stay on there easily until you clip that tension cord on the legs. Then you pick your stand up and the beauty of the Freedom Hub is you can adjust all of the cordage right there at the hub. We have another YouTube video explaining exactly how to do this where we give you up close shots for what Cal's doing right now. But the next thing you're going to do is stake out your stand. We are in kind of soft, a uh, little bit damp grass, so we're going to be using straight stakes and we're going to stake them, we're going to cross stake them, so make the stakes in kind of an X. The kind of stake you choose to use will vary depending on the type of ground that you're in, but we found our straight aluminum stakes work great on the grass. So he's attaching the anchor line onto the stakes and doing the exact same thing on the other side. Now notice we've decided to use two anchor points for this side of the Freedom Stand. That gives us maximum stability. But a couple things I want you to know. First of all, your anchors do not need to be in a perfect triangle from the stand. They can be uneven. So just pound them in uh, wherever they go into the ground. We know that that's not always easy. Second of all, you can choose to just use one anchor and bring both of your anchor lines to the same anchor that works just as well. Heading over to the other side now. Cal's six feet tall and he likes eight or nine paces in between anchor points. If your anchors are too close to your stands, they're just not gonna be as stable. Pounding our 12 inch aluminum stakes in a cross stake pattern. You can find those stakes on our website, yobogear.com. Again, we highly recommend those for grassy ground. If you don't want to get stakes from us, I, you can see I have ginger tied up to just a simple screw stake that I found at a sporting goods store. Those work great also. Now it's time to even up your stand, which is made very easy by the Freedom Hub. So you can adjust the cordage. You can see this in our Freedom Hub tutorial again on our YouTube channel. But right now, Cal's just making sure that everything's parallel and lined up so that when he grabs his hammock, it's going to hook up easily. Next, he's going to attach the hammock to one side, clips onto the hub there, and he's using the ridge line of the hammock to tell him exactly where his other side of the freedom stand should go. Clip that side on. And then we're on a little bit uneven ground, so luckily the legs of the Freedom Stand are highly adjustable. That'll just give you a more secure hang. Tightening up the cordage on that Freedom Hub because he has it exactly where he wants it. You can see the winds blowing and hammock stands already holding firm. Then we head over to the other side, tilt the legs in. That's going to give you the most stable hang and take the most pressure off of your hammock and anchor. Little leg adjustment here. He tilted it way further down than it's eventually going to go, and that's just to give him a little extra slack in the line so he can adjust the cordage at the Freedom Hub. And once he has that where he wants it to go, that cordage locks itself in. Bring the stand back up. 
He can't see from his angle, but he's got it a little extra tilted. The sides aren't quite even. So he'll go back in and adjust it. Pull those legs out a little bit. You want even pressure on both sides of the stand. That looks pretty solid right there. Time to test it out. Always enter your hammock slowly to make sure you've done a good job. And we're ready to relax. Mm -hmm.